stopped at the dark. I was born in it. Look at me while you die, Batman. Look at me. Why do we focus? So that we can love you to pick ourselves up. YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Roxy. Man, it's been a minute since I recorded, so bear with me. I think it's been like, you know, seven days, but we're about to hop back onto that grind. Uh, today, we're actually going to be installing a little surprise back there for you guys. We're going to be installing a new grill onto the charger, bro. Um, a lot of people have been suggesting this, so I'm excited to actually get it put on. I think it's going to look pretty good. Um, definitely make the car again look more aggressive really add to that front end and i think after that the front end of this build is actually you know pretty done i don't like see myself adding anything else in the meantime about to head over to one of my buddy's house he's actually uh he actually has a new grill he's about to put on his mustang too so i'm helping with that and he's gonna help me install the grill and the charger and then we're gonna be good to go one thing though i actually was in austin the uh yesterday and I don't know why. I thought I could like climb a rope right out of the water. I don't think it was gonna be that difficult. Uh, the rope had like little knots on it and stuff like that. So I actually ended up like dislocating my finger. So I'm about to try to install this new grill with a finger that's in a splint. Not gonna be easy, but it's definitely gonna be fun. What I do before I really get into the video, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, a comment, subscribe. And let me know what you want to see next happen on the build, guys. Let me know. Look into getting some lowering springs. If we should look into, uh, you know, rewrapping the car. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, so, yeah, I'll pick up the camera again when we get to our destination. All right, guys, what's going on? So, we've already started the process. Basically, in order to access the bolts, we had to go ahead and remove the fender liner. Like so. So, that's what we did here. Um, then we disconnected the fog lights. And the led side markers um so once we did that we we're able to um you know unscrew the bolts which are right there so we're about to do the other side i'll try to do better at filming the other side just so you can see what's going on but yeah that's what we have so far so we're doing this one gonna be replacing the grill like so then we're same thing over here on this 5.0 so all right so yeah same thing guys so we basically super simple we want you take off all the rivets whatever to get access behind the headliner or behind the what is it called the fender liner the fender liner yeah 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 and then we're just going for the One, bolts two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen of the little fourteen of these push pins push pins yeah it's easier if y'all use one of these yes sir yes sir uh we have it jacked up on both sides uh Watched a couple other YouTube videos. They were saying that it's easier to leave it on the jack so when you remove the bumper and stuff. So we have somebody else coming too. You said it, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Another Mustang coming in. Another Mustang. No, no, I'm still struggling with this. Let's see. Yeah, that's so weird. All right, so yeah, now we took out the old grill and now we're popping in the new one with the snorkels. Then we have to figure out the whole wiring situation with this. Whip pops in nice bolts. Dang, man. I messed up my stripes bad. Yeah. Like I said, I may either redo the stripes or we may just like go for like a new wrap. All right, so run into a problem guys basically we had got everything you know set up and stuff like that but we didn't really know the whole wiring stuff so now we have somebody to help us moving the uh intake just to have better access he's over there working on his he's gonna try to set up these uh what are they i got some led turn signal and then nice. a new grill if you want to show them it's right here oh yeah that's fire it's a new lower grill for the mustang yeah so yeah now the mustang and charger both looking pretty rough right now as you can see but get it all sorted out here in a minute. Just had another Mustang pull up. I was like, we gotta get more Mopars out here, bro. Uh, I don't know. 
Dude, I'm telling you, you need to add some. running Houston right now. Nah, nah, low key. Man, oh man, so this is actually like two days later. Um, the whole install it can take one day. Um, we just ran into a little bit of complications when it came to the whole like setting everything up with the uh, wiring section. So I actually followed up on that the f next day with my uncle's help and we were able to get everything solved. So I'm actually going to leave. I'm going to go ahead and explain everything right here. I didn't want to like sort of explain too much while I was going because I you know, was afraid of making mistakes and I didn't want to like lead you guys down the wrong path. So I was like, okay, let me figure out how to get everything done first correctly. Then I'll go back and I'll either like drop a document with like instructions on how to do it yourself or I'll, I'll try to just explain it right here. As you can see, I want to go ahead and show you guys first. Basically, yeah, when you lock it, it does a little animation. Uh, when you unlock it, it does that too. And then when you start it up, it's actually going to be this nice white color. And it's flickering a little bit on camera just because of strobic effect, which is uh, not an effect actually with the light, but it's with the camera on your record. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off. Hopefully it's not too much background noise, bro. I'm using like a microphone, so hopefully that's like going good. Let's go ahead and try to explain everything step by step. I'll just paste everything in the description down below if you wanna follow along. So step one is obviously you're gonna get a jack. You're gonna jack your car up from both sides, right? So once it's jacked up, uh, you're gonna put it on the jack stand on both sides. You're gonna pop the wheel off. Um, so that's super simple. Everyone should know how to do that. Then you're gonna come in here and yeah, so there's a little bit more light. So yeah, you're gonna come in here guys. And as you can see, you have these little push pins, right? Holding it in. So these are actually the ones I, you know, placed on after the whole install. So when you do this, you're gonna be breaking through these guys, okay? There's that tool that my friend had suggested you guys get um, earlier in the video. So you can go ahead and pick that up. Um, but yeah, these are most likely gonna break. So don't stress, they sell these at AutoZone, super cheap. So you're gonna pop all these guys out. Um, if you can look up here, see where it just sort of ends right here. So imagine the whole wheel well is off, right? This is gonna be pulled back. You're actually gonna have a fastener bolt like right here, like right here. And then another one that's like a little bit higher up in here. So you need to take these bolts out. So I think it's a 10 millimeter. Um, so use a 10 millimeter socket, take those guys out. Um, and then the main reason that we're taking this off is because if we were to try to go ahead and remove the bumper from the car, you're not gonna be able to because First of all, you have the fastener bolts, and then second of all, you're gonna have your fog light and your uh, side marker that's connected to stuff up here. So you need to disconnect your both of these guys. They're a little tricky to get off. I think I actually showed this to you earlier in the video, but um, once you're able to like disconnect those, it's obviously, uh, it, or it's obvious, it's basically just like a little push latch. You push that down, then you pull out, and yeah, it's good to go. So do that for both sides, all right? Again, this is both both sides are jacked up on jack stands right now. So you know, once that's off, I'll show you this too. Hold up. Alrighty, so once that's off, once that's done, you'll come here and you'll see the same thing. Again, it's all these little push pins. So you pry those guys out. You're gonna lift this out as well. This is not a push pin thing. It's just like snugged in there. So once this whole thing is taken off and once, you know all that's done now we're going to get to the part of trying to pull this off the front bumper off that's where you're going to come back to your battery pretty sure you guys know what your battery looks like excuse the slight trunk mess this is your battery all right it's in the back of the, these cars for some reason so once you pop this off you're actually going to take another i think it's a eight millimeter this bolt right here and you're going to get the socket you're going to get that guy off Disconnect the battery, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Because anytime you're dealing with anything electrical, bro, you need to make sure that your battery is disconnected so you don't like blow up your car or anything like that. That would be pretty expensive and you'll have a tough time explaining to insurance how you blew up your car. So <laughs> now we're still in the process of trying to take off our front bumper. So if you come here, there's gonna be this right here. You're gonna wanna disconnect that so you just pull that out. Reason you see a little bit of electrical tape and all this funky stuff going on is because this is this is a finished product. This is with the snorkels added on. So, oh wow, we killed a few flies. But I have the snorkels feeding in through here, coming up, and then I'm explaining the whole wire. Actually, 
Yeah, I'm explaining the whole wiring thing, and then I'll either pop it like right here or right here. The wiring isn't too complicated. I this is my first project where I actually had to like wire stuff, so I was a bit nervous. But luckily, I had like a bunch of help. You now again, from my uncle and then from like other people in the car community that helped me out with this. Um, so yeah, like check the description if you want like the detailed step by steps. Um, I feel like a lot of people are intimidated by this project. Uh, but getting the front bumper off is a bit of a hassle. Just all the steps that I'm gonna paste in the description of this video. Um, I think I just explained everything pretty good. So yeah, your fastener bolts on that side, once you get that taken off, that taken off. See another fastener bolt right here. So get that taken off too. This thing just like falls right off almost, right? So you wanna have like another person helping you out. I feel like if I was doing this by myself, it'd be terrible. Bumper will be destroyed. So <laughs> once that's off, I think I have a clip of how the video, I have the bumper looks off too. So you just pop in your little snorkel, the new snorkel grill, that's super simple. Old one pops out, new one pops right back in. Do that, line it back up, and then, yeah, secure everything. And then you can come and work on the electrical part. So back to this. So with the electrical part, basically, just because I don't want to tell you guys the wrong thing when it comes to the electrical stuff, I'm going to leave that for you to see in the video description, or I'll put like a pop-up on the screen just because I was, I was like the most tricky part. And like I said, I had messed up on it the first time. So with my car, there was actually two green and white wires. Not sure why, if that was like a thing with manufacturing or if it like came like that. So you wanna uh, make sure you're like, you're taking a look at that to get that all solved out and everything. But no, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, this side was far more easier. Um, I think it was, I'm not even gonna say, check the description. So you can see what that was but yeah no guys just totally this project is totally worth it you know once it's done like just changes the whole look of this car um if you want to see a lot of you know pictures and content and you're trying to decide if this is something you want to take on this this project let me know and on top of that too guys if this video y'all did it before if this video happens to get like let's shoot for 100 likes if this gets 100 likes bro i will literally I don't even need to. This is how you know, like, I really love you guys. I will literally do this whole thing again. Um, just to show you the step-by-step -step project of how to do it, since I feel a little bit more confident now dealing with electrical stuff. But I will literally take the front bumper off again in a video, put it back on, do the snorkels, if y'all still have questions. So let's get this video to 100 likes, guys. I'm super excited with how this turned out. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.